Hey everybody, it's Todd, and here we are a little over a week into fundraising for Songs for Singing, my new worship album uh, that will drop this fall, 2012. And uh, I wanted to uh, do some videos where we talk about some of the songs that will be used on the record. Um, as I've mentioned before, about five of them are very familiar. Uh, the other five are newer. And so I thought it'd be interesting uh, once in a while to just kind of turn the camera on and talk about these songs. Uh, the song I want to talk about today is a song that we do a lot at my church called Forever Faithful. Um, and actually, it is the first real song that I wrote after coming to Bethel. So um, in 2008, Christian and I came here to Tyler to lead at Bethel and um I got to be honest, it took me a while to start writing again. As you know, I'd written a lot of songs in my previous church, and I'd done a CD, and I just was kind of playing around with some ideas, and I wasn't totally, I wasn't totally sure um, if I if I if I liked it, and I, so I was a little nervous about it. Okay, and um, at that time, I had a song that was was becoming a little bit more successful. Of all the songs on the previous record, there was a song called The Cross of Christ. And so it was getting a lot of good feedback, um, and I was contacted about it, that uh, it might get put on this uh, CD sampler that would go to worship leaders all over the country. And a lot of people were responding to it, and so it just felt like, oh, this is my hit. This song is, you know, whatever. It's going to be a, a big song or, or, or whatever. And eventually it, it did great. I mean, it was uh, included in an, in an Easter musical that they still make available to churches. So, um, But at the time, I was very scared about that. I was a little cautious. I did not know how to follow up. How do you start writing again? And so um, I just kind of went back to what I knew and started to write songs for the church I was in. So not only was this the first song I wrote while at Bethel, it's the, really the first song I wrote for Bethel. There was just this idea, this thing that I was go, kind of going through um, in my life and even as a church where I realized I was part of a church that was working very hard to make sure that there wasn't a big separation between the secular and the sacred. And so that's one thing I noticed about Bethel and about worship at Bethel is that we were talking about honoring God constantly in every aspect of our lives. And so that really kind of struck me. I thought that was really kind of a neat idea. And at the same time, just holding on to that verse of God, you know, when, when we are faithless, you remain faithful. And I just like those two elements. And so um, felt like that's where we were kind of as a church. And so I had, I had all of these thoughts, but didn't really know how to pursue a song. And so I thought, well, you know what? The Cross of Christ was written in kind of a hymn form. I'll do that. I'll follow kind of a similar meter and a similar verse structure. Um, and that's how I'll start. And the song eventually developed into its own thing. But I just thought, okay, that's where I'll start. That's kind of a thing that I know and that people respond well to. So I, I had um, this neat kind of progression, um, which was a walk down. It was a chord walk down and then a walk up. So, um, so I just kind of play it for you. So it's kind of like this. So I had that walk down. I don't know if you can hear that real well, but I had that... And I thought, well, what if it walked up? So I love that. So I loved that. And I thought, that's it. That's my chorus. And so just started to think about all those ideas that were rolling around in my head. And so then I started coming up with these phrases that, um, you know, uh, every strain of praise is yours, forever faithful and sure. Every song we sing for you. Just all of these ideas of, God, everything that, that, that I am and everything that I do really should give you thanks for being faithful. I wrote it. I loved it. I thought, this is great. But I was a little scared because it had been a while since I'd kind of played an original song for for anybody Um but much less this new church. And so the way it all worked out, I was scheduled to lead uh, worship at a youth camp in Maryland that summer. And um, I'd gotten with the musicians that were going to be there. I'd already planned the music out, and I had a different song. When you lead worship at a camp, it's kind of tricky because um, you have to kind of do songs that the kids know. You don't want to throw too much new at them. And so usually you have one or two spots for 
for a new song or one or two new things you can throw at at uh, at a, a crowd that you you don't normally lead. And so I had this plan. I had a song I'd written a, a year or two earlier called "Waiting for Me," I think, and I I sent it out to the to the band. I'd made a demo. I'd made charts. I said, guys, this is the song we're going to sing at camp. And then a day or two before I left for Maryland, I thought, no, I, I think I need to do Forever Faithful. And so, you know, last minute email to the guys. Guys, I'm so sorry. I don't know if you've worked on waiting for me, but I'm going to do something different. I want to do this song Forever Faithful. I'll have charts there. We'll work it out. Don't don't worry about it. So we show up uh, at this uh, at this college, I think is where they were holding the camp, and uh, begin working on Forever Faithful. And so musically, it was immediately really strong. I felt like it was really consistent. And the band I had, the guys I did, uh, they did great on it, uh, but then you play it, and so you have to play it in front of people, and so sort of ta- taught the kids the chorus, and we played it, and almost immediately um, realized, okay, okay, this is, yeah, this is a song. Um, this is a, a real thing, and, and this this can work, and um, coming back from camp, immediately integrated it into the, the Bethel kind of worship catalog, and that is one thing that I would encourage you. I mean, if you're thinking about donating, or you've maybe been waiting um, if you got, you know, you don't, don't, maybe you really don't know me. Maybe you've seen this video, you know, someone's linked it that you know, and, and you're kind of watching it. Um, I would say this. I want you to feel like if you donate to, to the Kickstarter campaign, I want you to feel like you are investing in songs that have been tried and tested to be congregational worship songs. And I, I know there's some new songs on the record, but I will tell you that uh, every song that will go on the record has been played for people. These are not things that are just written in uh, my bedroom and now they're going to be on a record. Now some have been used more than others, but I want you to understand that. And we've said that from the very beginning, but I really can't stress it enough that these are songs that are designed to be sung congregationally. That's their focus. That's their goal. Not to be on the radio, not to be a hit, uh, not to get you know produced by other people but to be used in the local church. That's why they were written, and that's why they're being recorded. And so when you get out that credit card or you write that check for you know, 10 15 bucks, whatever it is that, that you're doing, I do hope that, that you're thinking of it more than just, oh, I, I like Todd, or he seems like a neat guy. Yeah, I'll go ahead and donate. I hope that you feel that level of investment of, hey, I am, I am investing in 10 new songs for The church, maybe churches in Texas, maybe churches all over America, maybe churches all over the world. We don't know. We don't know what God will do, but we try to be good stewards and we say, God, I'll give, I'll sacrifice, I'll serve, and I'll be a part of this. And I will tell you that when you make that donation, that's how I'm viewing it. And I hope that that's how you're viewing it too. But Forever Faithful has ended up being one of probably uh, the most favorite songs we do around here, as far as original songs go, um, I have a lot of people who ask about it. Who is that? Or man, I went and looked for that song and I couldn't find it. And I have to say, well, it's original. It'll be on a record someday. Well, someday is now, this fall. Um, so that's why we're calling it Songs for Singing. So um, if you care about that, if you if you are passionate about that, um, I hope that you'll make a donation. I know ten thousand dollars is a lot, um, and it's very daunting to me too. But I'm trusting God, I'm putting my faith in God that He will move on just the right people who will donate and invest in these songs, songs like Forever Faithful, uh, going all over the world. So thanks for watching. Um, I'd encourage you to head over to kickstarter.com, type in my name, and make a donation.